Hi oh, there, YouTubers. Thank you, Day. Back again on YouTube. This evening, YouTube, I got part one, part three of my part of Aaron Newland's Trainer Aircraft Group Build. This is the last entry of his group build that I've been anticipating in. This is the new Ravel 142nd scale PA 18 Super Cup. Okay, fellas, after reviewing the kit, I went ahead and started assembly. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, this is the main cockpit uh, detail compartment. It's actually it's formed as a frame and tub assembly. And uh, in spite of the, uh, the tub and the frame assembly of the cockpit, uh, here is the cockpit floor featuring rudder pedals, two joysticks, a student pilot, and also the pilot. Uh, the student always sits in the front seat, and the and the and the uh, instructor sits in the back seat. Now these uh, seats are pretty well uh, detailed. They come with a molded-in seat belts, and uh, like I say, with care and a uh, little and carefulness of your painting, you can make these uh, e ejection molded seat belts on these seats come come alive pretty much. And they pretty well relieve the uh, a lot of detail in there, so it shouldn't be too hard to uh, uh, to paint. So these have been assembled and primed already, and I got the fuselage has right here. They fit quite good. They mate uh, very decently. Uh, I don't think this uh, fuselage needs any uh, filler at all. I think with a little crazy glue on top of the uh, ACC glue on top of the seams right there, once it's dry with wet and dry sandpaper, you can sand that glue off there and it acts as its own filler. So I don't have to worry about using any. Uh, filler putty of my choice. Uh, after this video I'll go ahead and resume on the cockpit details. I'll paint the cockpit details out. Uh, the tub compartment is right here in my hand right here is going to be all painted black on the plan to call it some black. And uh, so it's going to be uh, pretty well weathered when I get done with it. Because this is going to be the military variant of the PA-18 Super Cub instead of the, uh, the civilian version as uh, as previewed on the um, inbox review of this kit the, uh, it comes with three sets of instruction uh, three sets of decals we've got that one set of decals goes for the uh, the army trading squadron which they used the uh, 1949 to up to 1953 which they used as the PA Cub back during the Korean conflict and right before that and uh, also you got Two uh, decal options uh, for the civilian version, <coughs> and uh, that'll be that on the decals. So, folks, right here, as you can see, right here, I only stuck, got this far done. Our next video will be the complete uh, cockpit, and uh, the assembly be all painted up and ready to go. And once that's done, it'll be installed inside the fuselage, and uh, the fuselage will be closed up. It'll go from there. And uh, after reviewing the kit, there's a lot of parts to it, and uh, it's going to be a fast build, no matter how slow you go, or how fast you go. I'd like to take a model and make two weeks out of it, especially in this, in this caliber. Uh, the more difficulty models take longer, and uh, although I may build fast, guys, but I build, I build too slow. I do build all day. Uh, the hours I got logged in, just doing this right here, plus the priming of the... Uh, cockpit assembly uh, well, I got about six hours in there so I do build slow and uh, I stay out all day long guys most builders more or less work a couple hours a day or not even that long and and they do so much and they go to something else and uh, it takes a long long time for it to get done so all my builds are neat no foot race it just uh, Although they appear like they're built fast, but they're not really done fast. I just stay on it, guys. So if you stay on a model, it gets done quicker. But like I say, you just got to take your time. That's what I do. So anyway, guys, that be it. The update number one uh, build report on part three of my end of Aaron Newland's Trainer Aircraft Group build. And uh, next video I'll, I'll post will show the, the, the completion and the painting of the cockpit uh, interior of the Cub. And uh, close up the fuselage, and we'll go from there, folks. So once again, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and may God bless. And thank you very much for uh, uh, tuning in and, and, and commenting on my videos. And uh, so stay tuned for uh, 
another video of this uh, coming up probably by tomorrow. So, here's Plucky Day signing off, boys. Y'all take care. Happy modeling, boys. Bye now.